as well. Uh, but we've also made some additional changes to the way that the panels behave and function inside of Velocity. Specifically, we have now decoupled the functionality from a panel to panel perspective. Uh, so now we can have multiple panels in the system in a single room, and I can program or configure those panels to function differently, to look differently, to have different sets of, of commands and, and uh, buttons uh, based off of how I uh, set this up. Um, and that being said, I also have the ability to, to edit the individual functionality of the buttons separately as well. So it's really a, a decoupling of the, of the panels. And, and really kind of a use case for this is going to be uh, where I've got, maybe I've got an in-room control panel and I've got a technician panel uh, and I want different functionality on the technician panel than I want on the in-room control panel. And so this gives me the ability to, for example, use the default pages um, on this panel and use custom pages on a different panel. Uh, what we've also done is we've given the ability, the user the ability to select which panel is emulated when you launch the emulation. So in this case, I want to select the default panel file. This will launch a new emulator that we've redesigned as well that now actually brings me into my default pages and allows me to control the room through the default settings on this UI. Uh, and again, this could be a physical touch panel or it can be a virtual touch panel. Uh, it can also be referenced uh, with a QR code as well. Uh, if I want a separate set of functionality on a different panel, here's the same, uh, here is the same room, different set of functionality. I'm using a custom UI for this panel instead of the default. Um, and it gives me the ability to actually have that independent functionality there as well. Um, I did mention the QR code. Uh, you can now assign the QR code to launch a specific URL or a specific panel. And in this case, I'll scroll down to the bottom for my QR code here. We have the ability to select both the room and the actual panel that we want this QR code to launch when we scan it. Um, and so in this case, I always want to launch my default panel. So I will launch this QR code. You'll notice that the QR code changes. When I scan this QR code with my mobile device, instead of launching the custom UI, even though it is on the custom UI panel, it will actually launch the default UI because that's how I've got the configuration set up here. So pretty pretty good stuff from the from the scalability perspective and the expandability perspective, uh, and and really ultimately giving you flexibility to create uh, a, a very simple uh, set of user interfaces for different functionality. This could also be done with divisible spaces. So I've got three panels in a uh, in a facility in a room. Um, divided, I've got three independent panels combined. Um, I've got one, one individual panel and they can all have separate functionality um, or I can share functionality between pages um, very easily as well. So some, some great features that we've added here uh, on this as well. Um, I did wanna mention one additional thing on the panels and you'll notice that um, this is individually per panel again is the touch panel sounds. We had a lot of uh, we a lot of users that would scan the QR code and then they would hear the touch panel sounds on the QR code. And so what we've done is we've actually made this panel sound persistent with whatever you scan, whatever you emulate, whatever you launch. And so um, if you don't want to hear the click sounds on your phone when you scan the QR code, you simply just disable. It's disabled by default, but you make sure that it's disabled and it will then uh, basically launch the launch the URL with the control without the sounds. Um,